two years later, Boston would be the epicenter of yet another strange encounter between pilots and UFOs. But this time, the encounter would result in a near-miss collision. The incident was captured on tape by the aircraft's black box recorder. August 9, 1997. Swiss Air Flight 127 is a jumbo jet en route to Zurich, Switzerland. Pilot Philip Bobet and First Officer Kurt Grunder are at the controls. At 23,000 feet, Bobet will later report that his visibility was excellent with no haze and a clear blue sky until an unidentified craft enters the plane's airspace. The pilot immediately contacts Boston Air Traffic Control. Sister 127, go ahead. Uh, yes, sir. I don't know what it was, but it, it just over to like like a couple of hundred feet above us. I don't know if it was a rocket or whatever, but incredibly fast, uh, opposite direction. It was too fast to be an airplane. Later in his official report, Bobet will describe the UFO as a bright white cylindrical object with no wings, similar to a white shark. Aviation writer Don Berliner filed a Freedom of Information Act request to obtain the FAA audio and written records of this incident. The Swiss Air case is significant because the object that was described is quite unusual and the people reporting it have excellent credentials. These are veteran airline pilots. Moments later, the Boston Control Tower contacts another sector operator who is about to take over the flight. Hey, Chris, that's Swiss Air 127. He had a UFO or a rocket, something almost hit him in my airspace. A uh, UF yeah, UFO or a rocket almost yeah, hit the Swiss Air 127? Went, went right above him, two, about two or three hundred feet. The pilot's official incident report classifies the object as a UFO, categorizing its shape, color, and speed. However, the NTSB and FAA concluded the object seen by Swiss Air 127 was a weather balloon launched by the military at about the same time. These are not the kind of people who would be fooled by weather balloons because these are uh, fairly common experiences among airline pilots. It's really hard to mistake a weather balloon for much of anything else. These eerie sightings of UFOs are not isolated to the Northeast. In fact, Sightings of UFOs by pilots have been reported across the country. 